The brain is particularly special in the genes that it utilizes to carry out its functions. It has incredible amounts of diversity, and we're really only beginning to understand what those different kinds of cells do to carry out the complex functions of the brain. And this is something that I think Dropsy could really help us with by giving us the uh, information about how genes are differentially expressed at the level of specific kinds of cells. That's something that we didn't really get from whole gene expression analyses of tissues before. Traditionally, when we've done a gene expression analysis in a tissue like the brain, we've ground that brain up into basically a smoothie and sampled that smoothie for the concentration of different genes. The problem is, is that genes don't really act at the level of tissues, um, whole tissue. They act at the level of cells, and any two neighboring cells may be using the same gene in very, very different ways. And so instead, what we tried to do with DropSeq is turn a piece of brain into a fruit salad in which individual uh, cell uh, boundaries are preserved and we can appreciate gene expression cell by cell.